Hello and welcome back to my channel and to be fair this is a follow-up video for my previously posted Cyberpunk 2077 and the new NVIDIA DLSS 3.5 update which uh, supposedly were bringing AI generated uh, slash denoiser for current scenes RTX enabled on Psycho Overdrive and general performance and graphical stability and performance fix which uh, I can see you are kind of liking and disliking at the same time because I do understand it is a hard pill to swallow when it comes to only 4000 series owners having the benefit of using this technology. However, outside of all that jazz, here's the comment that piqued my interest. As you can see, the pinned comment on my previous video as it now is by user, well, I'm not even gonna chance it to pronounce it because I have no idea how to say it. But honestly, he made a very valid point. And his suggestion was, as you can see on the screen, is to check your DLSS DLL file. Probably you have 3.1.1 version. Now, I actually thought about this comment for about 45 seconds trying to understand why such a specific requirement is coming from the community and honestly this is the best thing for channels like mine where the community members are coming together to actually show and share their experience this is more valuable than my opinion about the games I'm talking about or reviewing or the performance benchmarks I run because even though I'm trying to keep in the loop probably I'm gonna miss a thing and this thing I definitely missed so after, well, essentially <laughs> installing the latest NVIDIA driver, which is 537.42, which actually brings DLSS 3.5 for the upcoming DLC of Phantom Liberty, going and checking out the file version in a game file directory, I find out that actually I was running 3.1.1. So I actually have included description how to get 3.5 file in the description of this video and essentially all you have to do is actually visit the techpowerup.com which is not a bootleg site. These guys they are covering everything tech and gaming and honestly they're a little bit underrated. You see them popping up here and there and nobody really cares but the content they post it actually works. So what they actually say is how to check the version for the file, which DLSS version you are running, and this particular link contains the latest NVIDIA's digitally signed official DLSS 3.5 DLL file, which essentially means when the game reads this file, it knows what instruction give to the GPU, and GPU understands what it can do, based on the configuration settings within the file to bring out the most in your game. Essentially, that was supposed to happen when you downloaded the update for Cyberpunk 2077 and you did a clean reinstall of your NVIDIA driver to get the benefit of the new update bringing 3.5. Now, the thing is, when I actually went to the game directory, which for me, since I got my game from GOG, and you go for Cyberpunk, you go for the bin, 64-bit, and you go for these two files. So technically, you're looking at NVGS, DLSS, DLL, and if you go for more options and properties, and you go for details, currently, I'm running the file from the tech power-up because now I'm actually see that this file is 3.5. Before that, as the user comment actually pointed out, you might be running 3.1, and indeed he was right. I was running 3.1.1, which was not exactly, you know, a nice thing to discover because, you know, you did everything right as a user. You downloaded the update and stuff like this. But here's the thing. Let's launch the game. And you're gonna see how it looks and runs now obviously my first video was still well to be fair bottom line in regards 
that the privilege of this only applies to the GPU users, which is, you know, anything with 4000 series GPU. But I do believe that even if you don't have 4000 series GPU, this file might actually make a difference because the way RTX cards work, they will take the instruction set nevertheless, and they might even improve your old DLSS, which is 2.0 or 2.1, performance in a game itself. So as you might imagine, we're currently running exactly the same settings as we did before. So let's just double check that real quick. Ray tracing on overdrive, everything's maxed out. DLSS frame generation on by default, because hey, we do need those extra frames. Super resolution is still sitting on automatic. No FSR, no EXC and everything else is exactly on the same level as we left it. Path tracing is enabled. And we're still on native 4K, full screen, no vertical sync, in sync enabled. So let's just continue the game. And even though the performance wise, I wouldn't say we gained additional frames as per se, I must say the game actually does look slightly different. And I would say it is kind of a big deal because as you can see now, we're still pulling 11 gigs of video memory allocated and 11 gigs of actual RAM and we're kind of on a boundary of 60-ish frames but then again this is DLSS automatic and when you look around I would say this actually does not look exactly bad we do have all fully ray trace reflections for literally everything that comes across including this police officer here and even this guy here's his shadow actually gonna see him here as well if I place myself look at this these are the NPCs walking over and we're still within 60 frames well granted at automatic DLSS we're gonna be falling be below 60 frames and also I'm recording native 4k so it's not exactly you know unusual to drop bef below as you can see just now it was 59 but overall I must say the graphical fidelity at least for the light has slightly improved. I cannot say that I don't see the difference because I can kind of just narrowly notice it but it's only because I played the game with and without before and honestly this file exchange made all the difference. So I would say it doesn't hurt the performance, it doesn't tank your frames and as always I would say if DLSS automatic is not enough go higher go for balanced go for performance go for ultra performance end of the day this particular 3.5 update is still going to work now i would definitely love to get a little bit of feedback from everyone who's not on 4000 series cards and i'm looking at you guys 2080 ti users 2070 3060 70 80 90 and everyone else in between because if this works for you as well with just a simple DLL, well, to be fair, DLSS, actual 3.5 DLL file swap, and you get the same eye candy as the rest of us, that would make me very happy. Because, you know, everyone should be able to experience this. So yeah, very huge thanks for the person who actually pointed me out to the right direction in regards to this issue and provided a little bit more of a feedback that I could ever expect to have. And I am a better man, you know, like I am a bigger man. I, I will admit my mistakes if I make them and I was not aware of this potential issue because, as I said, you download the update, you get the newest driver. I mean, how the hell you can even think that the game is not going to update its own game files to actually use the new feature that NVIDIA actually delivered? I mean, that is something weird, isn't it? And I think it's uh, time for us to kind of quickly steal ourselves a car here. It's not the prettiest car, but hey, it works. 
And as you can see, the game actually does look slightly different. And my driving skills are still the same. Nevertheless. Thanks guys for watching and I hope you actually will get a little bit of an eye candy out of this. I'll see you on the flip side. Over now.